Hello! In this tutorial on C++, I want to introduce you to the binary search. Binary search is a better searching algorithm, but just for sorted arrays. Uh, of course it is generic, you can easily apply to any programming language that you want. Ok, I've already made a few things to, to don't waste your time to write it, because you already know that. I declare the array size, then uh, here are some uh, variables, there are low, high and current, which we don't use that, I declared them for just this uh, binary search algorithm. It is also sometimes referred to that logarithmic search. Ok, I show you why, get a calculator and the maximum number while the cycle w will run is the base 2 logarithm, I'm not sure this is how it is said in English, and the number of the array, for example, a 124 <laughs> element array, the loop will run maximum 10 times, so this is very good actually. Alright, for example, a case of uh, 900,000 uh, uh, elements algorithm, it will run only 20 times, approximately 20 times, which is great for search in big algorithm, although it should be sorted. As you can see, I here just make the uh, array, actually delete this seed uh, mm, the random number generator, it seems that I forget it. Alright, and uh, yeah, I here I just sort the array like that, it is very simple, I've already showed you and tried to explain you, I'm not sure I did well. Alright, here we ju here I just write out the sorted array to know what do we want to search for and get a number from the user to the search variable, that's what we will search for. Alright, the I tried to explain the binary search algorithm. Uh, so, uh, imagine that you have a phone book and try to search for someone. First you open the phone book at the center. You will see that if the first letter is less than or greater than the first letter of that who you looking for. If it is smaller, for example, if it is smaller, then you have to just examine the phone book at the upper half of the phone book. So you have to just examine the half of the phone book. And then you open the phone book at the center of that half, so it, and you can get even smaller or bigger than uh, first letter, never mind. You have then just the quarter of them. So you have to just uh, one pair four after them, and then one pair eight, then one pair sixteen, and like that, so it is very quick to do that. Alright, let's see. First we need to initialize few variables. This is the uh, log variable, which I declared up, up there. This is the actually the first, uh, the index of the first element, this is 0. And then the high, this is the index of the last element, this is n minus 1, n is of course the constant ma number, the maximum. Alright, here we will make the while loop, while low is uh, less or equal than high like that, we will make the loop. So, then we have to calculate the half of the element, so the current equal to low 
actually in parentheses low plus high uh, divided by 2. Uh, of course this will be casted to an int even if it is not if it is not a whole number. Okay? If search is bigger than the array current, so we will examine that uh, oh then is it bigger or smaller? Uh, if it is bigger then we have to change the low value to uh, current plus one so we have to just examine the upper half after it Oh, and uh, if it is smaller so as if search is less than array i like that we have to change the high value high uh, make it equal to current minus one alright as there is just one possibility left that the current is equal to the search so oh not array i array current like that. So there is just one possibility left that array uh, current is equal to search. In this case, we will break from the loop. Alright, mm, let's see what are these. We have to examine that the uh, did we make it so we find the element so we can do that by array current equal to the value search if so then we write out count I found it at the index uh, current and line as write out I cannot find it okay this is just as simple as that save it and and uh, compile it get ready for the mistakes first the CPP okay actually I make a little bit too much R so the two R should be enough for us. So run the program. As you can see, here is the sorted array. So uh, try to search for a uh, uh, value 99. And actually, I forget to get the new uh, search from the user. So count enter uh, you to search and we read it to the search variable and actually that's right after it we compile the program again like that I compiled now try to search for some value like 4 uh, it find index 1, it were perfectly 0, 1, ok try to search for example 12 at index 4 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, perfect try to search the last value so it should be 99, index 99 perfect though try to search some random value hmm, approximately good alright then let's see how this is work